You know, I'm not really one to follow trends. I didn't incorporate fidget spinners or the thousand degree knife challenge into any food video I made, and I still do not want to know what the hell pink sauce is. But once my Instatalk feed flooded with deep fried pork belly chicharron videos, my fat ass had to jump on it and make pork belly chicharron tacos. Let me give you a proper tutorial. All right, before we get started on the chicharron, let's get started on the guacamole. Three large avocados. And uh, here's how I go about cutting them open. Slice it down until you hit the pit. Rotate it around. Once you do it full 180, crack her open. Inspect it for any blemishes. It's good. Now to get rid of the pit. All right, with a little bit of force with the heel of the knife, when you got a lot in there, turn it counterclockwise. And scoop the meat into our bowl. Okay, our cottos are in the bowl. Yeah, I'm gonna stop breathing stuff. It sounds kind of douchey. Let's add one bunch of cilantro, finely chopped. One large tomato, diced into pieces. One teaspoon of salt and the juice of one lime. Mashy, mashy. Now, all right, and to minimize any oxidation, we're going to put the saran wrap onto the surface of the guacamole, and we're gonna let the flavors get to know each other in the fridge. So while our guacamole gets more guacier in the fridge, let's get to the start of the show, the pork belly. And boy, oh boy. I got a lot. I have here five pounds of pork belly. Now, as much as I want to deep fry this stuff right away, we can't. We can't just simply cook pork belly as if it was regular meat. Pork belly has tons of connective tissue and we need to break that down. And one way to do that is to simmer it. That's why I have a large pot right here on the stove. And uh, at the risk of getting banned from Mexico, uh, the pork belly I got doesn't have skin on it. Ay, caramba! This may piss off a few of my own rays, but I didn't feel like going from store to store. So, regular skinless pork belly will have to do. Oh my god. I get it. Well, that actually felt nice. I take back one quarter of the bad things I said about Nick Giovanni. Alright, so our pork goes in our pot. All right, let's toss in some aromatics. Eight to 10 cloves of garlic. And one onion, and one large onion that's been cut into quarters. And just enough water to cover. All right, now let's add our spices. About uh, three or four bay leaves. Two tablespoons of peppercorns. One tablespoon of salt. One teaspoon of dehydrated chicken powder. And for a little bit of spice, one tablespoon of chili powder. Okay, let's bring this to a boil. All right, the thing's coming to a rolling boil. Let's reduce the heat down to medium low and let that simmer for 90 minutes. Okay, it's been 90 minutes and our pork belly is done simmering. All right, so let's fish these out of the pot. Now, before we put them in the fryer, we gotta do a few bit of prep work. So while being gentle, let's take a paper towel and mop up some moisture. Okay, dry enough, let's move on to the next step. I have here a straight-sided saute pan, and next to it I have a coolie line baking sheet lined with paper towel, and I set the oil to 350 degrees. Uh, no Celsius joke, uh, running out of time here. So let's gently place our pork belly into the fryer. Fry until golden brown and delicious. 
Oh, and uh, you might need a splatter screen. Uh, link in the description. Don't make the same mistake I'm making. Okay, this is looking pretty golden brown. Let's transfer it to our tray. And as that cools, let me work on the rest of these. And once they cool off a bit, chop it up. Top it off with salsa and guacamole from earlier. And dig in. Wish me luck, boys. The tortilla I got has a bit of a tear. This has been Cheese Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. All right, then the thing was on me. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. The funny thing is, I just got done cleaning this thing the other day, but you gotta suffer for your art.